Hey guys, you may remember last year I uploaded a small video about a miniature 009 layout I constructed in my apartment. It's been a while since I've added more info about that, but today I'm going to show you the first engine I got for it. Originally, I had intended to scratch build a static loco to go with it, but my skills at modeling are atrocious. I might do one later, like a simple diesel, but I decided to splurge on money a bit and buy a 3D print to put on a chassis. There's a lot of places where you can get 3D printed locos, like Shapeways, but I just looked on eBay and found quite a reasonable variety. I decided to go for this model from Narrow-Minded Railworks. It looks just like Peter Sam, except for the covered wheels, which is very useful because you can fit it on a simple motor chassis. This particular one, though, was built to slot right on this specific Kato Japanese N-Scale motor car, which I also got through eBay. This was actually shipped from Japan, and the total was only about $40, including shipping, which was a great deal. However, with the wheels hidden, you could probably put it on any cannibalized bogey, which I was originally intending to do. Here's a scale comparison with a Bachmann H.O. Henry. These are just some tests of the chassis itself. As you can see, it works quite well with some N-Gage coaches and trucks I got from a local hobby store. The orange coach is American, but I think the others are German. Anyway, as this locomotive is Peter Sam's brother, I'm going to give it a suitable name with the same initials. Poop Stain. Just kidding, I'll reveal the name later. Anyway, time for some paint. The first coat I added was just a generic primer spray I got from the hardware store. Ironically, this was the only paint layer that went on smoothly. Alright, time to use a tool designed by Satan himself, the airbrush. I dug mine out, and this is me testing it. I was originally going to paint the engine orange, but I felt it would have looked too tacky, so I just stuck with red, like the Railway Series Peter Sam. The paint I used is Tester's Enamel mixed with Enamel Thinner. Getting the wretched ratio right is a pain in the ass. As you can see here, the first red layer was a disaster. The spray was so thin that it would have taken hundreds of coats to complete. The airbrush I was using was pretty much broken. After a few other failed tries, I temporarily abandoned the airbrush and decided to hand paint it, which was probably even a worse idea. I don't know how the hell you guys managed to avoid brush strokes, but this turned out terrible. But wouldn't you know it, I got a new airbrush for Christmas. I did the black areas next. I taped off the red areas and used my new airbrush with the black and it worked beautifully. Or would have, had I not made another major screw-up. I accidentally used flat black instead of gloss. It looks like I colored it with a crayon. After doing yet another coat with gloss black paint, the tape can now come off. I also spray painted the bottom piece with black. As for now, it will be fully black aside from the pistons. You'll notice I didn't fully tape around the edges, and that's because it was much easier to do the reverse when I added another red coat. As you can see here, I can tape around the black roof edges, and the windows can be painted red. I also taped the bottom piece with only the pistons open, so those can be painted too. And this airbrush works much better. Here I'm trying to get rid of those black splotches. Also, word of advice, don't put your camera on the vibrating air pump. <laughs> After applying another few red coats, I attempted the whistle and funnel tip. As you can see, I hand painted them yellow, and that is pretty obvious given how crappy they look. Okay, this next section is something that I failed miserably at. For the nameplates and numbers, I decided to use decals. You can get decal paper that you can just put in your printer, and then they just slide off in the water. But here is where I discovered my first major problem. I accidentally bought decal paper with a white background instead of clear, 
That's kind of a problem when you're applying non-rectangular shapes. So I guess I can only do the name boards now. Yeah, as you can see, the ink did not merge well with the paper. I decided to name my boy Horace because, well, why not? I like that name. I had a goldfish named Horace as a child. Here, I'm applying a decal solution to help the nameplate slide on. Yeah, well, they didn't. As you can see here, they just completely disintegrated. Well, shit. I'm going back to college in a few days, so screw it. This is as complete as it will get so far. I'll probably do a part two, but here is Horus, the work in progress engine running. But it wasn't over yet. Of course, because I'm such a clumsy twit, I managed to drop the motor chassis and break the couplings. This is the sad story of my life. Anyway, here's Horace being tested some more after trying to feebly fix those couplings. Uh, yeah, that's all for now. Um, I'll try to get him finished. Uh, again, I was moving. I was going back to college after a Christmas holiday, so I wouldn't have access to as many tools. But yeah, um, here he is, Horace, the botched up 009 scale engine. Oh, and one more update, as if it couldn't get worse. When I came back to Chicago and unpackaged him, guess what? It seems to have broke. Oh, well. I mean, I'll probably be able to glue it back together, but I guess I'll need another wretched paint coat. Sad story of my life.